All right, let's kick it over now. Straight away, straight off the bat, to the dad night with his recap of Flash. This week on The Flash, season three, episode two, uh, we find out a little bit more about the new world that Barry's come into. So he meets up with a lot of the team, a lot of different things are going we, uh, different. Um, Cisco's all depressed and sad because his brother was killed. Um, and he's angry at Barry because Barry won't go back in time and fix it. Uh, We've also got, obviously, that we saw at the end of last episode, we've got Iris and Joan talking to each other because Iris never forgave him for not telling her that her mum was still alive. Um, well, he doesn't seem to be affected at this point. Uh, it is revealed at the end of the episode that Dan, Danielle, Daniel Panabaker, uh, that Caitlin Snow is, in fact, Killer Frost or has the freezing powers, at least at this point. Uh, we also have Dr. Alchemy, who somehow manages to <clears throat> excuse me bring powers from other timelines and stuff and and give them to people so obviously the rival was killed last episode and his i guess doppelganger in, in this earth um was able to get those powers from that version of himself fought against barry um barry beat him he gets locked away dr alchemy i think dr alchemy someone kills him um yeah, not a great deal else happened this week. It was sort of mostly just pointing out the the differences between then and now. Um, I guess the other thing is, is um, well, Barry did sort of decide that he was going to go and try and fix it again. He was pulled from the... whatever it is he was running through to go back in time. I wouldn't even say that's the Speed Force. He wasn't in the Speed Force. Um, by Jay Garrick, who says, nope. You can't fuck the timeline again, you can't fix it, you just gotta live with it. Um, so it was at that point he decided he'd go back and tell everybody what he did and what happened, uh, and that he was gonna do the best he can to sort of make the most of it. So from that, they all decided that they'd start working as a team a little bit better because there was a lot of friction going on. And yeah, that was pretty much it. So yeah, this week's Flash, uh, what do we all think? Yeah, Braden, were you disappointed? As you, as per um, usual. I enjoyed this episode, but there was. Here we go. Uh, there is a reason that I was disappointed by it. So, Here we yeah, go. I like this episode, but Flashpoint is done. So I know a lot of people were talking about it yesterday. I was saying, yep, that's just the beginning of the Flashpoint. Now, Flashpoint's done. What we're in now is rebirth. We're in rebirth now. So I've been reading a lot of the DC Rebirth comics lately, um, and Rebirth is kicked off by Flashpoint. Flashpoint happens, and when he goes back and stops his mum from being saved, he goes back to the normal time, and that's Re now Rebirth, um, where we're back in the normal sort of timeline, but there are things that are different, and that's what Rebirth is, and that's what we're in now. So I'm... Disappointed that Flashpoint's over, but I'm pretty cool. Pretty cool with the fact that we are in Rebirth, and I did like this episode. All right, well, Braden, Braden, there, no one is product. So I can't actually be mad at that one. Yeah, can't be mad, Matt. Since I can be mad at you and usually am, what do you think? Um, I don't think Flash. I don't think <coughs> Flashpoint Paradox is over yet. Um, because I keep referring to the, the but, Flashpoint. But Jay Garrick was specifically like, yo, cuz, can you stop trying to stick your dick in the timeline? Yeah. Yeah. Imagine this cup is a woman's, like, butthole, and that the time is a big black cock, and the more you shove cock into a butthole, the more it's going to fracture and rupture, and that butthole will never be as tight again. No, and in fact, it will probably prolapse. You can kegel as much as you want, that shit ain't falling back. <laughs> Not without surgery. <laughs> um, Not without a rebirth. Oh! oh. <laughs> you can't fix the timeline. It's just you're just gonna live with it, and um, yeah. I love how every speedster has at some point fucked up the timeline. Yeah. Yeah. Speedsters are the real problem. Yeah. Mm. Let's make speeds to safe again. Sure can, if somebody can just Photoshop a shitty tan on me. 
Trump Thunder. <laughs> Trump Thunder, I love it. <laughs> that is, that is the hang on. You dirty cave <laughs> over. <laughs> Made the cave great again. FTB is going to be huge in China. FTB, 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 FTB. No. FTB. Crooked Hillary. She's Crooked Hillary. You can't trust Hillary. She's no good. But I'm going to make America great again. I am so presidential. So presidential. It's, it's, it's unbelievable how presidential I am. I, if I was any more presidential, I would be president. But not like Crooked Hillary. So anyway. <clears throat> I, I didn't mind it. I actually quite enjoy it. I don't think that they're going to be done with the Flashpoint. I don't think that they're going to leave it there. Um, now, I think... It's, Going back to, if you watched the previous recap with um, Supergirl, um, I was sort of talking about the fact that they're, I, re I reckon they're swinging towards Legion of Doom. Um, reason for that is uh, um, Alchemy is in this one, is in Flash, as well as um, uh, Mirror Man. Master. Oh, Mirror Master, sorry. Um, Mirror Master, I have not seen Mirror Master. I reckon. And you mentioned last week, well, so I have not they keep they keep writing on the mirror. Somebody is pushing people towards things, and it's not Doctor Alchemy. Yeah, and we saw at the end a metal arm grab. Um, <laughs> the rival's yeah, neck. So I I honestly think that they they're gonna have the big the big thing is gonna be the fact that they're gonna have Legion of Doom, and that's why they're gonna get Supergirl um, involved to help fix it and I think that's still going to be part of the paradox I don't think I really don't believe that they've finished that paradox yet because they're still telling yeah, Gary said himself he's like the more you try and fix it the more you, you can't break that yeah but it'll it, 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 it come to a point where it's not that he wants to fix it it's that he has to fix it because of all the destruction that Dr. Alchemy and and uh, Metallo and all that all the other ones that will get revealed later on this year in the season um, it's just, yeah. I feel something big is coming because they are name dropping our villains early on in the season. Mm. Um, and coming from a lot of these episodes <laughs> that we didn't know, really, I mean, Supergirl we did, but I mean, with Flash, we didn't know who the villain was. They didn't have the reveal of who the villain was. Um, I, mean, I, I have a theory. I've, um, I don't get to it in the Arrow yeah. episode. So this is, a, if you want to hear my theory, go to Arrow one. I have a theory on um, on who the villains are for these shows, and I actually reckon it's they they do want a big show thing. So we'll get into that. We'll get into that one. Again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I agree. Um, yeah, this, this week's episode was good, but it still it it had one moment that I'd be remiss if I did not bring up. Was the Dawson? Awesome. Yeah. I'm not going to lie, I'm not going to lie to the folks at home here. I had to have this one pointed out to me by Matt. So I'm going to hand it over to him to explain the Dawsons. Yeah, there was a, a scene where after uh, <coughs> Jay Garrick knocked um, uh, Barry out of the uh, Speed Force and pulled him out into his timeline, uh, they walked into a diner. And there was a TV, and on that TV was playing <laughs> Dawson's Creek. And uh, there was a point where, I don't think he meant it intentionally, but there was a point where, um, what's his name? The John Wesley Ship. John Wesley Ship. J Dubs, bro. J Dubs, sorry. Uh, when J Dubs <laughs> actually looked at the TV and he watched it for a second, like there was a point where he was just like, Oh yeah, I remember that sort of thing, <laughs> and it sort of it distracted him for like a split second before they continue on the scene. It was great. I like that. It was. Great. I like to think that um, we were responsible for that little Easter egg there, since we've oh, been so. referring the two together for 
couple years now. Since, since the Flash started. <laughs> we recapped the Flash from episode one, and I'm fairly certain if you fans go back and listen to that, that is where I first made the fact that I don't want to wait to find out who the reverse Flash is. I don't want to wait for a bunch of other shit because it's got Mitch Leary. <laughs> and then they fucking ice creamed him. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it was it was good. Yeah. I liked that we got um I mean I watched this episode twice. The first time I watched it I was like I mean after last week and how I wasn't happy last week and then I started watching this episode and first thing that happens is he runs and he's talking to Felicity I'm like, for fuck's sake, we are not off to a good start. You ready yeah. for something? Ready for something that'll melt your brain about the conversation he had with Felicity, though? Yeah. Okay. So in that conversation, he's like, hey, Diggle's got a son? And she's like, yeah, it's John Diggle Jr. Yeah, they already told us that this timeline is fixed because if you watch season one of Legends of Tomorrow, he has a grown-up adult son. Hmm. So this timeline is is fixed. Or that that part of this story is now fixed. But they already told us it was going to happen. Yeah. So um, maybe they have planned out further than we think. I didn't think that that was a very good start, and then I, I was, I mean, really, when they were sort of pointing out a lot of the things that were different in the timeline, like we had, um, obviously, we, we already knew, but we had Iris and um, Joe, Joe not, not talking. talking other, um, Cisco was there because his brother was dead. Um, Caitlin has powers. Really. Caitlin has powers. Oh, well, that's going to be part well, we of the end. Um, and sort of, and you so don't find it out to the end. Was pulled out of the timeline. I was just like, "This is kind of shit." Um, but then the second time I went back and watched it, that's when I sort of clicked. I'm like, "Hang on, this is fucking rebirth." And then it sort of made a bit more sense to me. So, um, yeah, I, I mean, it, it was a good episode. Um, I love that we've got Vibe now yep. um, from, um, or at least the first appearance. I don't think he's going to come back for a little while. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <coughs> I mean, there's a couple of things. I didn't really like the fact that they seem to get over all of their little problems just because Barry said, like, Iris and Joe just started talking to each other because Barry said, hey, you should. Cisco mm-hmm. um, is, I bought a little bit more than theirs because he was like, I'm trying. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm trying. Like, he came out and he helped him. He's like, I'm trying. Just give me some time. I'm trying. Yeah. So that I bought a bit more, but the other one was like, yeah, they got over it a little bit too easy. Can anybody so explain that. to me, because you might be able to, Braden, since you've watched it a couple of times, I have a serious issue understanding why Barry hates Malfoy so much. Is it just because he was such a prick to Harry? Like, why does he hate him <laughs> so hard? For I, no reason, it's like, I don't like you because you're blonde and you're a CSO. I don't like you either, Baron, because you're... Pre- Found it. You know what, the British guy is a point was like, I don't really like you either, you just kind of don't really do anything, you run off all the time, you seem like a slack cunt because you never hear. Um, I think it's, I think that's a play on the fact that because the timeline has changed and Barry doesn't know the changes yet and there's isn't quite Yeah, but, speed, but Barry, just... hate, like everybody keeps saying, remember they keep saying he yeah, doesn't he like that us. guy. He told us and they're like, that. yeah, you always say that. Yeah, and and in fact, Malfoy says it to me. He's like, as you're very fond of saying, Mister Allen, you don't like me, but a Felix and, Mitchell. Okay, so if he's gone to a different timeline, yeah, all right. Technically, he's existed in that timeline up to a certain point. So that Barry, yeah, that, that's what I'm asking. Why? Yeah, I know. But that what I'm what I'm saying is, I understand why this this current Barry doesn't like him because he's like, you're new and different. I don't like you. Why up until this point, up until he was replaced. Like why didn't he like him? I don't think we're going He's to... a competent CSI by the looks of it. Very competent. But he's a medic human. Oh, he's he's not. CSI. No. Oh, sorry, he's the... He's, yeah, he's, yeah, the, yeah. he's the meta... He's the meta human CSI, yeah. yeah. I guess and maybe I that's, that's it. I think that's what it's going to be. Maybe that's to. what it is, yeah. That's what I'm sort of saying. He man. is a meta human, though. I'll, uh, I'll spoil it as him before. Yeah. Oh, he's, he's got to... Yeah, he's got to be. Mm. He, 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 not I don't think he's yet, but he will be. Uh, no, nah, he is. He is. Uh, <laughs> he's just he's just confusing because he's not on the right show. <laughs> we'll get into that later. We'll get there. We'll but get yeah, there. Um, that, that further... Sort of, this is sort of further... Uh, um, I don't know the, the word. It's not confirming, but... It's supporting? Supporting my, uh, my theories because uh, alchemy draws out... Um, the metahumans and give them their powers. Well, 
reverts them back to them having powers or accelerates them having powers. <coughs> He's going to come after Kate and Snow, and we're going to have Killer Frost again. I don't know that he'll come after her. I think that might be something that will happen on her own later, maybe. Um, but we'll have Dr. Alchemy going to her. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. But um, I think... Well, sorry, I wonder is what he's doing. I mean, what we saw him do with Rival and he, I guess, pulled his version from that Flashpoint universe to this universe that he's in. Is he able to pull from any universe or just that Flashpoint universe? Hmm. Well, that, that's why I still think that the Flashpoint is not done yet because they're leading up, in my mind, they're leading up to something massive and then it's going to be a big metahuman fight which, or, you know, the Legion of Doom. Um, and I think that's what's going to cause some fuck-up. Um, yeah, that's, going to... that's more, more around alternate universes and things like that, not necessarily timelines. I know, but I, I'm just, I still think, I, I, I just, personally, um, I think it's a bit of a smoke and mirror that the paradox is over and that they're trying to f just move on from this point. But that's just me. That's, that's, that's what I feel. Well, only time will tell on that one. I'm, if, I'm just glad we don't have a fucking speedster who we're like, who's the speedster? Can he slow yeah. f move his foot? No, I, I don't think we'll get that. I don't reckon we'll get that. This I don't think we will either, but... No. Uh, you know what we will get soon? <laughs> I can feel it. I feel it in my chest. Wells is coming back. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. He's got it. I also want to know how um, Captain Cold's supposed to fit into this as well, because he's supposed to be regular across all of these shows this season. Yeah, it's going to make sense soon. Legends of Tomorrow will make it's sense. Gonna, I, don't think it, I don't think that shit's going to start happening until um, that... <clears throat> That is going to come as the consequence of whatever Barry does to bring Supergirl into this universe. That's going to reset Captain Cold. See, but the, not the writers, whoever they are, who, whoever takes care of Supergirl, I don't, they have said that she's she's not coming to this. She'll be a separate universe still. I mean, yeah, 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 Braden, Braden. I'm, I'm, a, it, it, it. I'm really happy for you. I'll let you finish. He, uh, they would, you know, do you know when you say that? It's when somebody from your PR and marketing department goes, hey guys, big news, this shit's gonna happen. And then your writers go, yo, you wanna shut the fuck up? That doesn't happen to episode 16, you dumb fuck. It's meant to be a surprise. Yeah, that's not yeah, happening. Yeah, we're, we're keeping them separate. Like, like, why would you want to bring Supergirl in this universe? That'd be fucking stupid, mate. You're being played, Bray. Yeah, um, don't be a I mean, mark. I mean, it'll be a thing, bring that they brought her over to the. The They're going to. She's They're going to be going part to. of that universe. Don't be a mark. As I said, like, again, the name dropping big villains across the DC board in all three fucking TV series. Or four. Sorry. Um, They're the, the name dropping early. And you don't have Metallo without all these other ones coming into play. You are, you are just being played by marketing. You can have Metello without all these other ones. It's, Metello's a superman villain. You're being played like a mark. Really no, no, you're being played. <laughs> Fucker. Um, I, yeah, you, you're just being played. Yeah, I'll, I don't know. We'll see. I mean, we'll see. If it happens, I won't be surprised, but if it doesn't, I won't either. We'll see. I mean, I know she's going to be... In that was such a fucking fence-sitting comment. Holy shit, that was a fence-sitting comment. Yeah, I'll be surprised if I won't be surprised if it happens. Yeah, I won't be, be surprised. It'll, if it it'll be fine if it doesn't. Also, fifty fine fifty either yeah, way. Like, yeah, cool. fifty fifty. I'm, I'm cool. Sort of I'm cool with anything. Yeah, I'm, I'm cool, cool with, with anything. Absolutely yeah. anything. I don't mind the the pickets tickling my grundle. Hey, I didn't say I was cool with anything. I just said I wouldn't be surprised if it happens or it doesn't but happen. <laughs> Man, you know what? I'll, you I know what? I won't yeah. be surprised if tomorrow doesn't happen. But then if it does. I probably won't be shocked either. <laughs> if, if, if anyone needs a fence built, talk to Braden because he's got all the fence pickets up his ass. <laughs> all right, let's rate this one out then. Have you guys got an Unky Googs? Mine's going to Felicity. Because <laughs> yeah. she always yeah. seems like she's hitting on every guy she has a conversation yeah. with. Well, I feel like she's 
I feel like she's kind a of slut. Yeah, me too. To maybe season two Felicity, but I think at this point. Oh, flashpoint! Like, reset her. Fuck that. Sorry, sorry. What? I, I think at this point, I just can't fucking stand her anymore. So it doesn't yeah. matter if they reverted to the way she was before Felicity. Yeah, but, mean, you, but but Brayden, come on, Flashpoint made it all better. It fixed it for us, and now that she's okay and she's got a new boyfriend, and she's all like, "I love your new boyfriend." He's all like, "I love you too, baby." By the way, did I tell you that I'm Prometheus? I'm, 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 I'm going to piss you guys off, though, but I didn't <laughs> want to tear my eyes out when... Like, I didn't want to tear, or tear my ears off when she started speaking, because she was actually... Nah, I was pissed the fuck off saying that. Because <laughs> she was sort of... She was just going through what <coughs> Barry was talking and saying, well, hang on, no, this is... You, you fucked it up. If you fucked it up, you need to tell... You need to go and fix this. It wasn't like, yeah, it's about me. Oh, you fucked up my life. Oh, you know, I could have been together and you fucked it up too. That's true. It, it wasn't a Felicity moment of like, oh, fuck off, bitch, shut up and get in your fucking corner. She was still shit Felicity though. Well, oh, she was shit was, Felicity, yeah, but it, it wasn't, I didn't want to fucking like uh, perform sepulchral cool myself for it. Right, well, yeah, who, who, who are you giving yours to then? I don't actually have one. Okay. Wayno, have you got one? Uh, I want to say Felicity. You, you're allowed to if you do oh, want to yeah. say that. Like, you can. No one's stopping you, mate. Safe space. Because she's the only one that hasn't changed. Yeah. You know, and she didn't care. You know, she didn't even ask what happened, you know, what would have happened to us or, you know, to um, Stalin City. Yeah. But for you know, she did sit. She did sit down. She did not, you know, try to spread her legs and say, "Take me." <laughs> but she doesn't have, like an arrow. She, she was. Yeah, yeah, she does. We do have an award name for the Felicity mm-hmm. Smoke Co Baggery Award for a reason. So, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah I'll take her. her. All right, good call. All right, have we got Cranston? JWS. Yeah, I'm giving mine to JWS as well because he actually changed his accent and the way he speaks between uh, Mitch Leary, I mean, uh, Henry Allen and um, <laughs> and uh, Jay Garrett. Yeah, I'm going with um, Aaron Paul's JWS, obviously. Um, I do love him. We all do. Uh, and so I am going to go with Cisco. Um, because Bob was cool and like I said before that point where he um, jumped out to help Barry and Barry was like oh cool you know everything's fine get like, away from my friend <laughs> yeah. it's like I'm trying I'm trying like I'm, I'm not just going to be okay because you said so I'm trying but I, I bought that I liked that, that was cool. and he, he brought the feels with the uh, grief counselling and all that sort of stuff as well yeah. he's a great actor Fantastic. It was a very different side to him as well, so, um, yeah, it was nice, I liked it. I, I, I did like how, at the end, he uh, he did do a, a, was it either a movie reference or a naming of the villain? But he wouldn't name him, he couldn't come up with a name for them, because they called him Thief. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Stuff. I love how they all just kept calling him Thief as well, because, even though Cisco does the name, they're like, like let's go get Thief. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> so good. Um, yeah. Uh, I think he came up with, did he come up with Dr. Alchemy's name? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, because they try to call, they try to call him Alchemy and he's like, what's that now? Dr. Alchemy. Didn't he name himself that already? He was scraping it on the mirror last episode. No, Alchemy. He's been calling himself Alchemy, but he keeps calling him, he now calls him Dr. Alchemy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So. Uh, all right. Thumbs up, thumbs down. I'm going with four up. Yeah, I'll let jump onto that four up. I'm gonna go yeah, three up. Oh, sorry, go away. Uh, go. I'm gonna go three up. Yeah, I'm uh, two up purely because Flashpoint's over. <laughs> I enjoyed the episode, but I'm disappointed that Flashpoint's over. Well, he's an offensive. That's true. Yeah. All right, well, we'll see you all in the next one.
This has been a Cabana production.